So welcome back guys. I wanted to celebrate December today. Um, we're almost out of time. You may ask what is December? That is something that the YouTube PC enthusiasts are doing on YouTube. Uh, I wanted to take part in it because I do love DOS uh, and anything vintage PC. Uh, I wanted to do my own video. I'd planned on possibly doing like the different operating systems I did. It's been done. I wanted to do something a little more unique, something I'm still using to this day, and that is bulletin board systems. I've got my own. This is the main screen for my bulletin board, uh, Door Games Unlimited. I'll have links in the description below on how you can connect to it if you want to mess around. I've got like 326 door games on it currently. Don't have much messages going on, though, which is what this is. This is the main screen for messaging to, like, leave messages. Uh, this is kind of basically what us old geezers used to do pre-internet. You know, everybody would connect to a BBS, leave messages, chat with each other. You could do chats, multi-node chats, meaning a multi-node is where a BBS has multiple connections to it, and three and four people can connect at one time. Mine currently has, I think it's eight right now. Um... I want to tell you a little bit about my history with bulletin board systems. So back in the mid-90s, I got into them very late. They've been around since the early 80s. Uh, even pre-DOS, you know, Commodore, Atari, uh, they had their own bulletin board systems, uh, Apple. But I got into it during the DOS era. And I ran a, well, first, let's get into, I used to connect in Polk County, Florida. There was 30 to 40 BBSs back in the mid-90s, and I connected to them all, you know, playing games, downloading files, uh, things of that nature. A few years later, maybe a year later, I decided to open my own BBS. Uh, that was Dragon's Lair BBS. I ran, the software I ran was Renegade. Ran that for a few years, um, and then I found out that there was a bulletin board uh, group that met at the IHOP every Saturday night. So I started going there, met lots of friends. I've still got a good friend um, that I met there that was a a former uh, sysop as well. Uh, he's gotten out of it and has been out of it for years, but as you can tell, I'm still into it. Um, and because of that, um, you know, we would just communicate, bad people, you know, just chat, things that are going on on the BBSs. It was very, very fun. I wish we still did it. There's still a few people that I communicate with from, uh, from now and then uh, that were part of that era. Um, so I was running Renegade, running a Dragon Slayer BBS for a few years. Then I decided to try something different, you know, that whole Windows thing. There was one called Power BBS, which was a Windows-only BBS. I ran that maybe for about, um, I don't know, six months to a year. Not a lot of people connected to it, so I went ahead and switched back to Renegade. At that time, BBSs were really starting to die. You know, they were kind of going the way of the dodo because of... Um, they get that thing called the internet. I then switched to Synchronet. And just so you guys know, back in the day, there were all they were all pretty much dial-up BBS. And what I mean by that, you used a modem with a software, uh, with a terminal program to connect into the BBS. You would use your phone line to connect to the BBS. Nowadays, those are still, they still exist, but for the most part now, everyone uses what's called a Telnet BBS, which is how you connect via the internet to uh, get to the BBSs. So as of, I would say this is this iteration of my BBS, which is called Door Games Unlimited, has been running since about 2009. Still going strong. Uh, right now it's even better than it has been in the last few years. I'm getting four or five calls a day. Back in the day, I could get as many as 25 to 30 calls uh, during that time. I mean, when it was really kicking. Now, you still got old geezers like me, um, BBS enthusiasts, that call around to BBSs. So I still get a few calls. I'm going to show you a little bit about my BBS. I used, I created all the uh, ANSI files or the graphics myself. And because I am such a vintage RPG, PC RPG person, I use that kind of as a um, setup for my, my screens. As you can see, this is Ultima 3 Exodus. I got one for Ultima 4, Quest of the Avatar. Uh, this is the Temple of Apshaw. It's actually the Temple of Apshaw Trilogy. So I've got a few of these uh, that I use. This is like the original Bard's Tale from the Commodore era uh, screen. As you can see, I have 326 door games currently running. Some of those are what would be considered non-door games. As you can see, I've got something called Dungeon Master. That was a really cool first-person ANSI 
based uh, RPG. I've got some modules for that that are running. I got some text files. Think of like Infocom games. I got a few of them running as well. I've got some other MUDs. That's multi-user dungeon after BBS. Some of the multi-user dungeons would come out. They were still kind of ANSI or text-based. But again, they are out on the internet now using a Telnet like sync term, which is what this is I'm using right now to connect to my BBS. They're still out there. Then I've got just a whole bunch of games, <laughs> as you can see, currently running on my BBS. All kinds. So guys, if you're interested in connecting to my BBS, uh, like I said, there'll be a link in the description below. I also got a Facebook page for my um, BBS, Store Games Unlimited. I think that's how people are starting to find me. They're doing searches for BBSs, and they're finding me out on the Internet. So guys, appreciate you watching, and uh, thanks again.